this, I don't know what this is. You see part of it. This was part of it too. What is it now? It's the backyard to this nursing home. Hmm. No parking. This is the um, sacred worshiping place. I don't know what to call it. It's a garden with Mary in it. It's a Mary garden. We'll go down this way. And you can see the flowers. We got some stars. On our way down. Look at these little fern thingies. These cool plants that are growing all over the place. Finding of the child Jesus in the temple. I don't know exactly where it starts, but Is that a seat or is it broken? Who knows? Who knows? They got flowers, a gazillion. No water because there's a crack in it. Down a hole so the bird bath does not work. This is the little, we got our sacrificial marble here, where I imagine you would slice lambs open. <laughs> I don't know what you would do with this. And then we all know what this is, right? We pray on it. The altar. To Mary. To the mother, to the subconscious, to the feminine. Somebody put a lot of time and effort into constructing this. I can't believe that they would ever tear any of it down. This seems like, to me, something that's sacred, not just because of the religious value, but simply because of the, the human value. The somebody put in the effort to create this place and to me that says that there's probably a lot of energy there there's probably a lot of importance to that it's like a work of art you know it doesn't have to be ridiculed in the name of religious oppression or something because it's beautiful And people cared a lot about it for a long time. And it's like the latest musician or anything that people cling to, you know. It's like, why degrade them for it just because you see the fallings in it? Because I just bet there's fallings in your own belief system. Whether you believe in any type of spirituality or religion or you just believe in right living morals and values or you don't believe in anything you don't cling to anything there's probably faults in your fucking stars too so 
Why judge when you could just appreciate <coughs> and admire every little aspect of creation? Because somebody came out here every day for a long time to build this so that people could come and contemplate what they were doing. It's really peaceful out here too. Peaceful? Yeah, it's just calm. It's nice. It's not chaotic. No loud noises. Yeah, it's like a little escape from everyday life, you know? It's kind of like a fantasy world. Yeah, you gotta come and pretend that things aren't so developed. Things aren't so... Simple. Yeah, it is simple. It's not complex like the life we live in now. Dedication, you know, an unconditional appreciation. You know, somebody gave up, sacrificed everything, and put their hearts into building this. And we don't even, I don't, I mean, I, you could find out who did it. I have heard the name of the man who did it, but I don't know it. Nobody ever remembers it. It's not something people care about. So you might hear the story once and be like, oh, that's cool. But it's like this 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 was this guy's life's work, you know. He He was a priest, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a priest or a Catholic monk or something. And this is what he did. I feel like there's a lot of it gone. Yeah, they've destroyed there's a lot of it. Shelves. Nothing's really in them. I'd like to start coming out here and appreciating it and bringing life back into it. Inspirational messages and this is Jasper Indiana signing off.